It's South by Southwest Live with the social networker through Spike Studio and Living Life Mobile. This time we look at Waddle and we take an Apago, Apago, whatever. We try to pace for some stuff. Are we ready again? Let's go again. Sorry we're wearing the same clothes, but guess what? We have an hour of studio, so three. for those that didn't see the other one on screen burn, go back and watch that one. We're still in the Samsung Blogger Lounge. Uh, we're gonna maximize our time as best we can, but you'll notice last night, or the other episode we did, it was, we had, dark. It was a bit, well, but we had the Hilton behind us, it looked great. Yeah. Uh, but this one, Gen X Connect, we wanna thank them for the wonderful lighting that, that they turned on for us. We'd just like to say thank you. They're clapping in the background. That's not them clapping. That's okay, yeah, one, there you go. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just him. <laughs> All right, so this one we're back out of screen burn and we were back to the floor. So here's what happened. Uh, we've, after we did the first show and then we started talking to people, we started with a list of how many apps that we wanted to do. There was at least 35 apps that we had on our list before we came down here. And every time we mentioned the show and they found out about the show, we were handed a card from I think everybody we met that said, I have an app. And not, we should really preface, not just a card, like CEO, co-owners, you know. Found, well, it's like founders. one guy at home sometimes. Like the one guy we met last night. I we think did he did meet that one guy. He was pretty much everybody. <laughs> he was the janitor too. So, but so we're getting a lot of those. So now we're actually some of them we like. Uh, other ones we're a little concerned. Yeah. But we're going to talk about uh, a, to a pair of people we met at an event Saturday night that showed us their app and we loved it right away. It's only iOS right now. It's only iOS. And they mine's in my bag. At, uh, they are talking about uh, bringing it to Android, but right now it's on iOS. And do you remember both their names, Audrey and? Perfect. So why don't you tell them about the I'm app? Guy, I remember Audrey. <laughs> okay, tell them about the app. Um, She'll appreciate the app that. It's called Waddle, and it is a photo it is, sharing app. It is really Waddle. Yeah, it's literally Waddle, little penguin. Very cute penguin, by the way. Um, and their stickers look great. Yeah. And they're Waddle. There's a little bitty penguin that looks like he's waddling. The reason you want an app is for their stickers. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Waddle, it's a photo sharing app. Uh, what you do? His name's Parker. Him. What's that? Parker. Parker. Parker, oh, Audrey Parker, and Parker, sorry. sorry. Park, we didn't remember you over Audrey. We apologize now. Go ahead. So, photo sharing application, which uh, it's, first I should say, it's a very clean app. They did a lot of nice work on the application. So essentially what you do is you go into the application, you create yep. a waddle, and you can start loading pictures into your waddle. Now what's nice is you can share your waddle with other people that of course have waddle, and they can comment, star, um, I believe it's private. We should pictures. say this. Yes, I'm the sorry. Waddles are not public. They're private. No, they're between whoever you invite to your waddle. Yes. Although you do have, in, in the options screen, you do have the ability to upload the, your waddles yep. to Facebook. Yes. Well, that would be sharing and not really part of waddle. They're not in it. They're sharing to yeah, Facebook, good right? Point. Okay. Good point. So you create your waddle, you add photos, uh, people can comment on the photos. It's really a very nice look and feel to the application. So picture the example while you while we're doing the live demo. The example would be you're at you're gone and your kids are with grandma and grandpa or you've got them. You guys could all be uploading pictures of the family or an event and all of you would see it inside the Waddle instantly. Yeah, that's the premise. You're, you're, yeah. you're doing your Waddle based on an event, whether it's a birthday, something like South by Southwest, um, just maybe a crazy night out and you all want to kind of share uh, your photo experience. Do not waddle events at South by Southwest. We've learned. Oh, do not yeah. do not have enough waddle for nighttime events at South by Southwest. So when you, yeah, when you first launch the app, um, of course you hit the plus. You can add a waddle. Okay. You give it a title, and then you have the option to add people there, or of course you can add uh, people participants later. Once you have pictures and you have sharing, you can go in your waddle. You can see the, the photos. You can see if people star them, any comments on them. Uh, you can drive really deep. They have a really nice user interface. It's very easy to use, very friendly. Um, now, one thing we did bring up that we talked to them about, and so they be, yeah. keep in mind, we, we were talking to the founders of the company, so everything we brought up they were receptive to or, or knew about or liked the suggestion, one of which was the, the group control. You could accidentally, as the owner of a Waddle, be removed, which isn't a big deal. They could re-add you because it's, yeah. it's supposed to be yeah. close friends and family. We brought that up. Yeah, so I could create a waddle and Chris can go and remove me from it. And right. I can unwaddle. Can he can be dewaddled. So we did talk about as an owner, I'd like to be able to set that and keep it. Uh, freeze my waddle. Is yeah, was it, is he how we did? So we don't know I what we. We were trying to give them names to come up with. Freeze my waddle, hold my waddle. We don't know what it was called. Yeah. 
and I and we also we had a lot of we had a really good conversation with them and and I really did enjoy that they were very receptive to yeah. our suggestions and I think a lot of them I think a lot of them they had already thought of and we were just reinforcing reinforcing it but my vision of it too is you know instead of me inviting you to a waddle maybe my waddle is I've decided to make my waddle public and you want to subscribe right. to my waddle because it's a common interest or maybe there's a common photo stream so there is a huge amount of potential and I really Correct. do enjoy the opportunity. And they brought up ideas of sharing, uh, uh, we said, to Flickrs or to outside of Facebook, but other places that you could share yeah. to. Uh, Picasa, uh, well, you know, now Google Plus. <laughs> yeah, and we should all mention, uh, we should also mention as well that um, we did bring up a lot of privacy um, concerns. Yes. And they were, they did address, I think they addressed all of them and they did agree with everything we said about the privacy and how things are stored, when they're stored, all that. Getting your photos out, and one last thing we should say about them is you're able to select a picture and send it as a postcard. Yes, I, I That's brought that up later as we were yeah. conversation, or in the conversation that you do have the ability to yeah, send a photo as opposed to And that's monetization for them because they charge the few cents for the photos. And that's awesome because now they've monetized. It's not demanded. You don't have to do it. But now you've, they've got monetization built in. Yeah. Cool. So yeah. to Parker and Audrey, that one's a thumbs up. Yeah, definitely a thumbs up. Yeah, we're going to keep that one. And I'm we never do that. friends on it and, you know, play even longer. We never give anybody thumbs nothing. So that's, that's a good start. Just so you know. When she sees this later, she'll understand. So then last night. Did we mention it was iPhone only? Yeah, we okay. said iOS only for now, but because Audrey is going to have Android. Okay. Then we went last night out and about. We were at the events and we ended up at the Bing lot. What was it, one in the morning? Whatever. Yeah, it was one in the morning. We were at the Bing, 12.30ish, uh, whatever. We don't want to claim times for anything. But we went to the Bing lot. And to use the vendors there, oh, yeah. you could load a payment app and they would give you $5 in credit to use at any vendor for free if you use their payment app. Uh, we First, it had a picture of all the devices. So let's say that up front, it had iOS, Android, Blackberry and Windows on it. No, it didn't. It just had the three. No, it, it was on the site. I'm sorry, it was no, on the site. On the site. It wasn't on Blackberry, the coming soon. Windows, coming soon. Everything else was live. So we loaded it up. And what was it called? Pay. What is it called? App Pay Go, Pay App Go. Here it is. Go Go Pago. Go Pay Go or Go Pago. We'll say Go Pago. G A P A G O. It has a little hexagon shaped logo. Here was the dilemma we had. We loaded it up. It had issues registering the accounts. You got dumped out. Um, I, I successfully registered on Android. Let's say that. So the Android, I successfully registered. For iPhone, I had a different experience. Uh, when I first got into the application, and I wasn't sure, well, really was weary. Of course, it asked for my phone number, which I'm always weary about. And it didn't say what it was doing with your phone number at all. No. I didn't uh, like that. So phone number, name, and then a PIN number. And a birth date. Well, the birthday came later. Okay. But yes, after that, then... Mine, was mine was on the... Yeah, I don't remember. But I think I tried to register at least four times. Okay. And reboot my device several times. and really was having a lot of problems getting registered. And I'm not taking anything away against from the application. The network here is pretty hammered. Oh, loading it wasn't the issue. And I don't know if it was a network, but the no. the UI from even we just had some. It's new, and we had some issues yeah. with the UI being smooth well, and, and that working. And with the birthday, with the UI, it's set up month, day, year. Well, in the application, they wanted you to do year, year month, month, day. day. That so was a difference. Was keep, I was kept trying to start with the month because that's you know we've well US. That's we're, us. We're, we're not. We don't do day first like the rest of the world. Right. Like the rest of the world. Um, this so, ought to be good. Yeah. Sorry, we're watching people move their equipment. <laughs> we, were, good. we weren't nervous at all. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I had some, a lot of issues trying to register with that. Uh, I was going a, he said always be careful. ABC is always be charging. Yeah. All right. So they also now, here's the cool part about it. Well, once we got in. So yeah, and that's another thing we should say. We were in the Bing lot. Yes. The food carts were open. And once, but according to the app, they were closed, which means you can't order from it because it shows the big closed across the venue. So we were unable to order from the guy. Now, wait a minute. It did say closed for mine, and I was still able to order. Mine blocked you, so Android was better. Android said, no, it's closed. You could browse their menu. I could see the food cart, the, the food trucks, but I couldn't order because it kept saying, this venue's closed, you can't order. I went to the truck and I asked the guy, hey, your hours are wrong, can you adjust it? And as a vendor, he said his UI did not have that ability for him to adjust his hours. Yeah. So I think the lot was controlling 
the hours for the food trucks that were inside of it. Because right now, Bing Lot is lit. Well, we'll show it. But Bing the Lot food is there. Trucks are closed for me. But right now, they're open. They're open for you? Yeah, they're open. They oh, say new. They're closed. Oh, oh, I wasn't in that screen yet. Sorry, I was at the Bing Lot. Let me go back one. There, look. Bing no, Lot doesn't say closed because it's open. Food trucks are closed. So right now, you'll see on the screen it says closed. I can click it and still browse their menu and do cool stuff with it. Yeah. But I can't order anything because I get an error. Then, so, and I ahead. should say, then finally, I was able, so even though it said closed, I was able to actually make the order, verify with the guy that did, did receive it. Another issue that I had is when... And he was on his iPad, we should know. He was on his iPad, um, and he took the order, and I was standing there and said, no, no, go back under the, because it was raining a little bit, go back over to cover, and I'll let you know when it's done. So by the time I walked back, and I just happened to be looking at my, my device, it flashed up very quickly with that said the order's done that was gone and I right. really didn't have a chance to read the entire thing and, and there was no way to go back into the app to verify that message like verify that there is oh, what, what about the tab that says messages it wasn't it, it, I don't remember seeing it in messages no the messages I got was the message I got was about the five dollar oh, okay off. well I'm just asking if it went to messages there's a tab for messages Although now the message is, I received my order, <laughs> which I already ate it, so. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe I missed that, and maybe because it was very quickly going through. Well, they gave us five bucks. Okay, so keep this in mind, too, and here's something I don't like about it right now is that made me nervous. They will store your credit card with a PIN number. Nowhere does it tell you about the security the of the network. data or the application or where it's storing your credit card information yet. It's just not built into the UI anywhere I can find. If I go to my profile, I have right here a button that says, it has the end of my phone number that's registered. They didn't register it that I know of. Uh, it has points and a button to turn on and off showing you in a community. Your credits. Um, right now I have no GoPago or GoPago credits, but I have a Bing credit for a venue. Yep. There's a discount tab and then a more where you can get information about GoPago, GoPago, and referral codes, which I presume will be in-app credits that they'll give you. But nowhere, right here on the screen when I say add credit card, does it tell me about the privacy? All I have is credit card number, expiration, zip, and my CVV. I'm putting all my info in here, but I don't see anything secure. That, it's a UI thing they need to fix. I presume they're always, of course, they're PCI compliant probably. We're not saying that about you guys at all, but understand that the users need to see something about security and privacy here. Like just a pop-up that I say, okay, that lets me know my data's secure, it's transmitted, it's SSL, you can't see it, it's encrypted, all that stuff. Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't We're big on the privacy on the show. You know that. Um, and not telling the user about it is a problem. And you can select where you are by city. I forgot to mention that. I can say what city I'm in. Yeah. And or, go, or, or do the GPS and say what's near me. Right. So uh, overall, what do you think? I Another virtual I'm wallet. I'm going to keep it loaded and I'm okay. going to find out what... I'm, I don't imagine I'm going to be able to do much in Houston. And right now, the only categories you can choose are restaurant, ice cream, and barbecue. I'm definitely keeping it now. <laughs> That's the only three you can do. So go Pago, go Pago. Uh, it's on iOS. I'm it's sure on. We're gonna get a nasty tweet about this. We but. always do. We get and you know what, guys? We like all the apps. It's just we we help you become better. Oh, oh special thanks for those who didn't see the other episode. To our guys at U Test. Yes. Yeah. Why you know work for the apps? We want to thank them. Uh, Gen X Connect for the lights. Yeah, the definitely for this one. Uh, karaoke truck. The karaoke truck was cool. Which they were beta testing the karaoke machine? Is that what they were doing? Or they, uh, they were singing badly. Uh, well, they weren't, but people were. <laughs> people were. So, another one's done. Uh, keep in mind, we did one on Banjo already. We've done one on ISIS, ISIS payment system. We've done one on Screen Burner already. We've now done these, and then we've got another one that's right behind it. Yeah, considering we just said we had over 30 coming here, and we've done four. Well, we've done six. Six. We can only do two per episode. We're done with this one, right, and yeah. off we go, everybody. We'll talk to you in just a bit for the next one. Thanks.